okay guys recently one of you have asked me that uh, a structure where you are going to use a splice okay of structural steel beam in that case how you will consider whether it is a moment connection or a shear connection okay so you can read out this comment but whatever i have understood is how to decide whether a splice connection is a moment connection or a shear connection okay so before starting the video if you're new to this channel please do subscribe and also if you would like to show your support and love towards this channel in that case you can join this channel okay so let's start so at the very first let's recap the concept about a moment connection and a shear connection okay so in a moment connection what happens simply the moment is transferred through the flange of the beam why well if this is the i section or wide flange section in that case you know if you apply a moment like this the bending moment stress distribution is like this one okay so if this video looks to you a repetitive one you can simply skip this but i need to clarify the doubt of the audience who have asked this question okay so this is the bending moment stress distribution and you know that majority of the stress due to this bending moment is concentrated at the tip of the beam and here you know this is nothing but the flange of the I section okay uh, or in section it looks something like this so majority of the stress is carried by this flange so if you are going to use a splice in your structural steel beam let's say this is one beam and this is another beam okay let's say you are going to use a splice so to make sure that all the moment is going to be transferred from this beam to this beam or from this beam to this beam what you have to ensure first first you have to ensure that the flange are connected okay so if you can ensure that the flange of these two successive beam which are connected through splice connection are connected okay if the flanges are connected in that case you can say well this splice is simply a moment splice clear now go to the next one shear splice what happened in case of a shear connection well let's say uh, this is a simply beam this is a beam this is support you have a loading like this now uh, at any section maybe your shear force is this one this is the shear force now in this particular cross section you would like to draw the uh, shear force distribution stress due to shear force okay so it looks something like this okay so this is the stress distribution something like this and in this case let's say this is your wide flange or i section in that case what is the shear stress distribution for this wide flange i section simply it is something like this okay so this is the shear stress distribution and you know that majority of the stress majority of the stress is carried by this particular zone and in this zone there is wave of this white flange or i section so let's say if you have a beam splice like this okay so this is the beam splice or this is the beam you would like to connect and let's say in your splice you are noticing that only the wave is connected through this plate and bolt system only the wave is connected the flanges are completely free they are not connected so what will be the type of this particular splice definitely only the shear force is being transferred that is why this is a shear splice got it so if you enjoy this video don't forget to like and share it 